Welcome back. Israeli leaders say the country will defend itself in the world court over an allegation of genocide. Last Friday, diplomats from South Africa filed that accusation at The Hague, saying Israel is committing genocide against Palestinians in Gaza. They're asking the International Court of Justice to order a stop to the attacks. The Israeli Prime Minister's office calls the charges, quote, absurd blood libel. The case could take years, but the court could issue a temporary order within just a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, the latest news from the war zone, Israel is pulling thousands of troops out of the Gaza Strip. Still, as CBS's Jared Hill reports, there are no signs of an actual end to the fighting anytime soon. In this crowded tent city in southern Gaza, hopes the new year will bring a new peace. This 11-year-old girl says simply, I wish not to die in 2024. While the year started with a familiar sound of sirens in Israel and the country's Iron Dome system blocking rockets fired by Hamas, the war is taking a new turn. Israeli officials confirm they're pulling several thousand troops from Gaza in the coming weeks. We will allow soldiers to gather strength for the next activity, said the spokesman for the Israeli military, echoing words from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the fighting will continue until Hamas is crushed and more than 100 hostages are freed from Gaza. Though soldiers may be needed on Israel's northern border, where militants from Syria and Lebanon attacked Israel. And in the nearby West Bank, Palestinians rang in the new year with a message for the people of Gaza. The people in Palestine are all unified and united in support of Gaza and in support of ending this terrible aggression on Gaza. Confirmation of the drawdown came the same day that Israel's Supreme Court decided not to move forward with a key part of Netanyahu's controversial plan to curb the powers of the country's judicial system, a plan that sparked months of protest in 2023. Jared Hill, CBS News. And right now, the Israeli military is on alert after they launched a drone strike over Lebanon, which they say killed a high-ranking Hamas official.